health and well-being is teaching children how to be safe, to look after themselves and to be healthy and happy for the rest of their lives. A lot of our lessons um, inside, especially health and well-being, they can feel quite synthetic inside and outside is a really excellent place to make it a more natural experience. During the afternoon I take half a class worth of children out and these are early stages and we go out every week throughout the year and we use that as a support for health and well-being. So it may be that we are exploring, looking for different aspects of seasonal nature or it may be talking about their feelings and how outside can help to support them and their health and well-being. In the work that we are doing here by using green spaces we are trying to support an individual's health and well-being. And what we're trying to achieve is that children are feeling calm and alert and in a position so that they can go on to learn and do all the good stuff at school. And you can sometimes just see the worry just fade away from them. They start giggling. A child who was inside who seemed very sad or worried about things is running along and is taking the initiative. So it's a wonderful opportunity for children to have to be out in green spaces. Initially, I think it showed that some children just don't get the opportunity to play and so they found games very hard at the start of the year, winning and losing and setting rules and sticking to them. And they've really progressed with that. There was a girl in my class who was very quiet inside and wouldn't put herself forward, um, you know, answering questions inside the classroom. And the effect that the outside had on her was immediate. She would. Um, have really in-depth conversations, she would talk about her life experiences, she would volunteer for leadership roles and sometimes she would be a bit feisty and it's, not in, it's nothing that I had seen from her inside so it was really um, lovely to see a different side to her personality. It's really built resilience in the children that I've had out the last couple of years. When I say to them we're going out in almost all weathers, you can see on their faces when it's raining that oh no. But then they get outside 10 minutes and they don't even notice. It's also the feeling of accomplishment when they do something like climb a tree for the first time. And I don't notice it on a day-to-day -day basis, but by the end of the year or the next year when I take on a new class, I can see that how far my, my previous class have come and um, that makes it worthwhile. A child rolling down a hill and that's helping with their proprioception and their vestibular senses. This is helping them to feel their body and their awareness. And this ultimately has found out through research is then leading to children being able to concentrate better in class. This will then go on to them having better learning and also ultimately being happier at school. So something as simple as rolling down a hill has massive benefits to each and every child. How do you feel when you're outdoors? I feel happy. I feel happy because in school you just have to learn and you can't run. I really like nature and I always like go in the woods and find sticks and that to make stuff because I find it more like interesting, interesting yeah. and fun. Sometimes I get a little stressed inside because everybody's stuck in and when we're doing a bit of work I might need to concentrate but other people are talking but when we're outdoors everybody's in a different place so I can more concentrate because like it's a change from being inside all day and like I really want to be outside a lot. Why do you think your teachers bring you outside to places like this? Um, to stay healthy. And it's good to be active. And we were doing den building just now, and and I I was feeling that we were doing doing good teamwork. And we get fresh air, and fresh air makes us good and strong. You're being healthy, and you're doing lots of activities, and you're going outdoors and playing and learning. Being active. Well, it's like you're running around, and that's exercise. Having fun, and is getting fresh air. It's turned out to be the best part of my week. Sometimes the classroom can feel like a pressure cooker um, and coming outside, I get to relax with the children, I get to enjoy their company and discover their personalities. Um, so it's totally worthwhile. It's one of my favourite parts of the week. The health and wellbeing of staff is also something that really needs to be taken into account for and directly impacts the health and wellbeing of children. And many colleagues who are outside say that this is just the best time of their week 
amazing, joyous little nuggets of learning happen, which you just cannot do inside. It's the joys of being outside. But that's also very important for the individual staff members' health and well-being. And there's an increasing amount of research that is coming out saying that if you, as the educator and the adult in the children's life at that moment, are calm and relaxed yourself, you're in a much better place to support children in them becoming calm and alert and happy to learn. I think teachers should take us like one or two times a week. Bye. Bye.